What's cracking, peeps? Darren McDuffie here, alias Fat Man, helping you become perfectly healthy and toned and conscious. Let's talk about relationships today and what relationships really are. And um, I was reminded about this as I spoke to a group of women Saturday and just wanted to relay this to you. If you are in a relationship, if you are single, if you had a best friend, is no longer a best friend, relationships, that's our thing. We, we are always involved in relationships with other people. So one of the concepts I want you to grab a hold of today is that your relationship, first and foremost, should be with your inner being, your soul, or whatever you want to call it. So that's your first thing. That should be your utmost priority, to have that relationship with who you really are and have enough self-love so that you're not just looking for someone to love you, you're actually looking for someone to love. Because when you're looking for someone to love you, chances are you are suffering from a self-love deficit. And a lot of us out here are on that aspect. They're just looking for someone to love them to make up for the love that they're not giving themselves. Now, when we first enter relationships, here's what happens. We meet the person, be it a friend, be it someone you want to be a lover, be it someone you eventually marry. We meet the person and all we see is the positive things about them. So it's the best thing ever. It's the best relationship ever. You can't wait to tell your friends about it. Then we're in the relationship for a while. And after a while, here's what happens. We find out that he doesn't put the toilet down after he uses the bathroom. Uh, she squeezes the toothpaste at the end instead of from the middle. Um, this person, they snore at night. We start picking out everything bad about them. And therefore, when you start doing that, the only thing that that person can show you is what you're highlighting when you see them. So if you're only seeing bad, then that's all you're ever going to get. And that's why so many of our relationships end up in, if you have like a best friend, sometimes you just go on your separate ways or best friends fall out and they're no longer friends anymore. If you are in a relationship, you get married, a lot of them, the marriages are ending up in divorce just simply because people start looking at each other from that negative standpoint they no longer highlight those positive aspects of the person after a while of being in the relationship another thing that we do in our relationships is we're looking for that person to make us feel good about our, ourselves many of the conversations we'll have is if so-and-so would only change if that person would only change, then I, I, you know, I, I could do better, I'd feel better. It's not up to the person to change to make you feel better. You can feel better without them changing. And once you start looking at that person and you start picking out those positive aspects that you want to see in that person, that person will change. So a lot of times we look at other people and we're thinking that at some point, when they change, then I'll be more happy. Mm -mm, doesn't work like that. Doesn't work like that. When you change, when you start seeing the positive aspects in that person, that person will transform before your eyes. Believe me, I've done it. I've done it. I spent two or three months picking out positive aspects about different people, picking out positive aspects about different things and situations, and I watch things transform right in front of my eyes and I started to realize that it had nothing to do with them and everything to do with me and how I was seeing them and how shifting my perspective showed them in a better light so the number one thing is just having enough love for yourself when you have enough love for yourself you will attract that relationship that shows you that aspect of yourself. If you're feeling broken, if you're feeling not worthy, you will attract 
the people, the circumstances, the situations to always accentuate that. What you expect from people is what you will get. If you expect, you have low expectations. Um, I know a lot of people who are single and they've been single for a while and they've had a couple of bad experiences. So therefore, when they get something good, what normally happens is they expect something bad. They expect the person to see a side of them. They expect the person to do something. And that's ultimately what happens. The biggest thing that I've learned is, and if you can get this concept, it'll take you so far. And that concept is you attract everything. You attract everything. A lot of people don't believe that because they think, that, oh, how could I attract this bad thing? How could I attract something so horrendous? And the reason is because of your mood, your feeling, how you're feeling. If you're feeling less than what I would call feeling good, feeling happy, you're going to attract those things that are feeling good and feeling less than happy. But the reason relationships are so difficult for most people is because they're a reflection of us. They're a mirror of us. And we're trying to, instead of looking in the mirror and changing the mirror, we're looking outside at that person and wanting them to change in order to make us feel better. So if you're single, if you have a best friend that suddenly you guys aren't best friends anymore, uh, if you're in a marriage and your marriage isn't going well or in a relationship where you're attached and it's not going well right now, I would urge you to start looking for positive aspects in that person because what you see, what you want to see is what you'll see. If you continue to see the negative, you're going to continue to see the negative. If you want to see the positive, you want to see the positive. And then my last thought is, a lot of people go through breakups, friendships go through breakups. Breakups are not all that bad. It's just how you look at it. A lot of times we have these negative experiences, we have this contrast, we think that it's bad. But sometimes a breakup, friends not seeing each other, you've been friends for years and sometimes you know, you just go your separate ways. It can be looked at as a thing to help you define what you want. You can be collecting that data and you figure out what you want. So you know in the next relationship what exactly you want. You know in that next friendship what exactly do you want. So don't always look at a breakup as a bad thing. Just say, hey, I'm collecting data right now. I'm collecting more data. And by when I see it, I'll know it. When I see this good relationship, I'll know it. When I see a better friendship, I'll know it. So it help, it's helping you to tweak what you really want. Final thought is start looking for the positive in people. We have been taught to look for lack. We have been taught to look for what's bad in others. And that's why a lot of people criticize different people because from an early age, we've been taught to look for what's wrong. Look for what's right. Darren McDuffie, alias Fat Man, helping you become perfectly healthy in tone and conscious. One love, y'all. Peace.